So guess what guys, just in case you didn't get PlayStation 5 for mm -hmm. Christmas, you did get Beta Flight Release Candidate yeah, 1, 4.3. So before you do anything, go update your configurator, right? Both. You gotta Both. update configurator and your firmware. If your firmware is even six days old, God help you. Update no. it first, yeah. or it's not Ivan's fault if you burn it up. So you yeah, guys yeah. been working a lot for free. It was like a second job for, for me and for, for some of the people too. Look you, how tired he looks yeah. right now. <laughs> this is all from adding a beta flight feature. Don't disturb my friend, he's dead tired. Features is interesting. Fixing bugs is... It's oh, frustrating, man. especially if you cannot reproduce the bug on your side and you gotta deal with like a end user, tell him what to do, like, yeah, it's been a little bit difficult, but hey, release candidate is here, try yeah. it out, let us know if there are any bugs, there certainly are some bugs. So, a Christmas miracle. Yeah, yeah, but That's it's amazing, exciting. it's like, it's amazing. So this Shit is, is a effort from all the Betaflight developers, yeah. how many are, are active right now, would you say? I would say there are like 10 active, yeah. 5 are really, really active, like crazy, like hours a day. I well, let's say. go over yeah. the, the top 5 new features and we'll say which developer did it. So first, the presets set up, how you can make and select presets. Who yeah, that that's uh, Ivan Efimov. Okay. Uh, so that's this guy. All right, the yeah, next the next top one is motor remapping features in the GUI of Betafly. Who oh, did that one? Oh, you're just fucking with me, right? <laughs> Who did <laughs> yeah, that Yeah, that one? was also that me, was all right. Also. Then the motor directions, that's a huge feature. Those last two are some of the biggest things that get people stuck on the bench. Yeah. He did this one also. <laughs> So I'm sure there's some other features. Well, no, no. There's there's somebody who who contacted every racer, every major person, Bardwell, to get their setup to put into the presets. You're still finding into the me, presets. Right? That's not just making the presets, but it's actually getting the data. Oh, that was him too. <laughs> no, <laughs> so that's why Joe Mama had Steven create the Lamone Flight Beta Flight startup logo, but that's not endorsed by Yvonne. My changes are probably the one that people see, but underneath there are changes that are way more important that makes Beta Flight awesome. To make it fly better. And to make it fly so better. So what's your favorite feature that you didn't do? I cannot even say. There are so many of them. Okay, smoothing for your RC commands, and this is crazy. It cleans your, mo like your motor traces, it cleans your RC, so your motors are cooler, your quad feels more locked in. There is also a feature that fixes uh, 4.2 RPM filtering. So when you go low on throttle, it, it basically wobbles less because the guy, I don't even understand half of what he's saying, but I see the, I see the black box and it's, and it's amazing. And also improvements on uh, dynamic notch. They, they've been also crazy. Like you can go through the list. There's just so many stuff done there. And Who did those? Chris, okay. Chris Thompson. There is also Karate Broad, like, but you know, Karate Tunes. A he's a job. very smart guy. And the, he is a guy who spends month of just looking at freaking black boxes and simulating filters in MATLAB. He spends months mm. on this. It's just crazy stuff he's done. That's like awesome. very good job. So and Chris Thompson, a lot of, of course, the features yeah. that people see when you use it, yeah are done by guys like this, yeah. but the features that make your quad feel better are these yeah. guys. There's another guy I want to mention, like uh, his name is Mark. This guy, he's done also amazing job of fixing a bunch of bugs, connected better flight and, uh, and configurator. It, and he also spends like days and like months of this. And like, you don't see his job, but it's there. Like every time you click pretty much any button and configurator, think about this guy too. <laughs> right. I mean, this is uh, the beta flight project is maybe one of the biggest open source projects not just of drones of like any industry probably not any industry because but. well it allows the whole hobby grade drone industry to to exist yeah because without beta flight yeah. yeah none of these people could sell so all these flight controller manufacturers all the bind and fly controller manufacturers people yeah, that build yeah. their own we all have to use this software and it's free and it yeah, continues to true. improve that's very true. fast and the user base is very huge so go try it out yeah. guys let us know how you feel if you find some bugs um, email Yvonne to right now. <laughs> no email the Betaflight team yeah. and go to the Betaflight uh, GitHub. Do they have a link to the Patreon there? They can donate. Yeah, they have uh, like when you launch Configurator, there is a link to PayPal, there is a link to Patreon just from the landing page of Configurator. So we'll leave that down yeah. below. If you want to donate to yeah. the dev team, that helps them get supplies. Again, they're donating all their time, so they're not in it for the money, but we do want to help to at least reward and acknowledge these guys yeah. because it's so much work 
and they don't have to do it and it helps all of them. Be Thanks. careful, of course, it's a pleasure, but be careful with 4.3 yet. It's still a release candidate. As I said, there are still could be bugs. Just be careful with that. Right. And expect to create like uh, GitHub issues if something goes wrong. Right. Yeah. This is the beta part of the yeah. flight. Yeah, so this is the real disclaimer. beta. Disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, track one. Thanks, track your firmware is even six days old. God help you. Yep. Go we'll see what Ivan's doing. What happened to the wood thing? Uh, the wind broke it. Oh, dang. End of story. Look at that. Oh, man. I think he just got mad. Yeah. Broke it. And he played ninja with it. Yeah.